Hello everyone and welcome back to the Critter Corner. Today is a little feed all my pets video. I think all of my pets are in this video, but it's basically just a little vlog of me feeding my pets over the course of uh, about a week and a half. So I hope you enjoy and make sure to subscribe. Okay, we're gonna start by feeding the tortoises. Today's Monday, we have a few animals that eat today, um, but not everyone. So I'm gonna go outside and get some romaine lettuce. We also have green leaf lettuce in here and I'm gonna mix them two together. But we have four animals that eat salads. Okay, so we have a little bit growing in the garden. So I'm gonna grab some lettuce out here. It's getting colder. So this, we're trying to take advantage of this garden while we can. Now I'm gonna wash the lettuce. I did get some parsley too. So we have romaine and parsley in here. Okay, so this is our lettuce. I'm gonna but cut it up or basically rip the lettuce into smaller pieces put it in a bowl put vitamins on it and then distribute it to everyone's enclosures so this is the rapashi super veggie i'm using this to sprinkle on the salad now it's time to feed nala so we're gonna get some of that and put it in her bowl and then she'll come over and eat it and i need to replace her water because she made a mess. Rest in peace to this dairy cow isopod that climbed into her water dish and passed away. Okay, let's pour some water into her water dish. And I think she's thinking about eating. There she goes. Nala's just sitting her butt on the food. It looks like she ate some though. So I'll give her a little bit more. Hey girl. Yeah, I don't know what she was doing. There we go. Okay, we're gonna take the rest of this downstairs to our two friends down here. First, we're gonna go ahead and do Crush, which I think Crush is hiding. Um, Crush gets a lot of food because he's very big. This is his plate. I do clean off his plate. I actually cleaned it yesterday. So he is a big boy, so that's about as much salad as he gets. And actually, I think I'm going to go upstairs and give some more to Nala after she eats a little bit of hers. Okay, let's wait until he comes out of there. Oh, there's his head. He's going to realize it and walk over. Crush is fully on top of his salad. He was chomping it, so there we go. There we go, he's getting there. <coughs> no, he's got it, he's got it. There it goes. This is our baby iguana friend, Yondu. She is supposed to be eating bugs, but I had doobie roaches for her and she doesn't like them so i ordered her mealworms and they're actually coming today but we've been feeding her salad for now um she doesn't eat out of a bowl so that's there um but she is a special little gal and is very fussy and picky and all of the above i know i have to pet her so she doesn't get cage defensive there we go but we're socializing her um and it's going okay we're working on it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna run this salad upstairs, see what Nala and Flick have eaten, because both of them could eat more food. It's just they don't always do it, so I don't put it out for them until they eat all the food they already have. So let's see who ate and who didn't. Okay, we're gonna feed Flick first. He's right there. This is his bowl. He gets stuff all over it. Okay. We're gonna take some lettuce and give it to him. 
He eats a little bit more than that. That's about how much lettuce Flick will get. Let's see if he comes over and eats it. So Flick came over to eat. He loves to shake his lettuce around. Hi. Hi. Let's see what he eats next. He's thinking about all the different pieces. <laughs> yep, that's what he does. Um, I don't know why. I guess it's an instinct he has, I don't know. But he, that's how he gets food literally everywhere. <laughs> Look me straight at me. Hey dude. There, now he's actually eating it. Oh! Shaking all the vitamins off that I put on them. No! Can we eat it nicely? There it goes. And he's gonna go shake that around. Yep, okay. Hey, dude. Let's not. <laughs> now I'll go downstairs and wash this bowl. Okay, it's a couple days later and it's time to feed my arboreal geckos, uh, which include my three chameleon geckos, one crested gecko, and two morning geckos. So to do that, I have, I brought their bowls down here. Um, I fill up two of these. These are the reusable Pangea ones, one of these, and then one of these. And I'm just going to add a pre-mix in the bottle. I shake it before I put it in the cups, and then I'm gonna open this up. I'm doing it with one hand because um, I'm filming with my camera. Um, a booze, this one's gonna be a booze. I fill up a lot more. This is Trax. This is for my pair, uh, Gamora and Rocket. And then this is for the morning geckos. I give a boot a little bit more. And then I go ahead and close this, put it back in the fridge. This is um, Fig and Insect Pangea mix, by the way. This guy needs to be shaken up too. I haven't opened that one yet. And I'm gonna take these upstairs. Let's see. I'm gonna have to put the camera down <laughs> for one sec so I can organize them in my hand. Okay, it's time to carry these and this bin upstairs. I spilled mealworms on the ground, so that's why it's so dirty. I need a vacuum. But along with their food, they each get a water bowl which i also fill up so i'm use my <laughs> mister and i'm just gonna fill all of these bowls and i can fill these ones up to the top because there's no limit on how much water they're allowed to have so this is a booze enclosure and a booze actually right there I'm gonna give him his Pangea. And, oh my goodness, I just spilled it. Let me refill it really quick. His Pangea. And, oh my gosh, his water. There we go. So this is Drax's enclosure. I put his Pangea on this ledge already. He's my solo male chameleon gecko. His ledge is kind of flimsy, but there we go. We got it on. And then feeding Gamora's right here. My female. Don't know where Rocket is, my male, but he's somewhere in here. Kamehameha geckos have incredible camouflage. But I'm going to put in their 
water. Oh, there's Rocket. And then there's Pangea. So there's Gamora. And there's Rocket. He's looking beautiful. So is Gamora. Okay, now giving my morning geckos their food. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. None of... Oh, there's one of the morning geckos down here, actually. Right there. Um, that's where their food and water goes. On this little ledge. Oh, there's some dairy cows. Okay. Yeah, I put it on this little cork. Um, their food right there. And then their water. I kind of wedge them. So I'm going to wedge this one right there. So this is their enclosure and their food and water. Also, both of the morning geckos are one's right here and then one is right there. I never see both of them out at the same time. I forgot to film me filling up this cup, but I'm de a rat right now for Tarzan. Um, I use these Tostito cups. We have a ton of them and we just wash them in the dishwasher. So I'm de this or thawing. I always say de but it's just thawing. Thawing this rat for him. Um, it takes about 40 minutes and I replace the water twice um, during that process. And then I'll also run it under really hot water right before I give it to him uh, because he is really, really picky about the temperature. Not like hot enough to burn him, but like hot enough that like it'll be like really warm right when I give it to him. Okay, so I just put fresh warm water in there. Bruce is out climbing. I'm gonna get my tongs, which I'm gonna use these ones. I cleaned all of them. I was just using these to mess around with Dibia Roaches earlier. So his head is back there. He's gonna be hard to feed. He's right there. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> he got it pretty quick. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to feed her some mealworms. Ignore the fact that Danny Gonzalez is playing upstairs so loudly, so she gets really scared. Hey, girl. And then she realizes it's a bug. Then, and then she eats. Oh, she dropped half of it. Here you go. There you go. Okay, let me try to feed her a full one. Please tell me why I went through the whole process of thawing rats and didn't even get it on camera. Um, anyways, I fed my snakes. This is Tarzan. He's wrapped around his rat. And then I fed Bruce. Bruce is back there wrapped around his rat. I'm getting ready to swallow it. So I fed both the ball pythons. I just didn't uh, get it on video, apparently. But that's okay. They're both gonna go ahead and eat. I honestly don't know where I left off in this video. Um, this has all been over the course of two weeks feeding my pets. Some of them ate way more than I showed. Some of them only ate once, like uh, Bruce and Tarzan. And now I'm gonna feed the final feeding for the video, which is a pinky mouse for Thumper. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Thumper is going to go ahead and grab that mouse. He's been very aggressive lately when he eats, but he's going to go ahead and swallow that down. Thumper swallowed his mouse. He is staring at me for another one. Uh, has already hissed at me a million times, but unfortunately he will not get another meal because he already got his. So we're going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching this video on the credit corner. As always, make sure to like and subscribe uh, and comment which pets you like me feeding the most. If you think it's interesting to prepare like the salads or if you like snake feedings or gecko feedings, whatever. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.